welcome back to my weekly pregnancy journal. This week I will be talking all about week 10 of my second pregnancy. Week 10 was another long week. I had a three night stretch of work again, so I was definitely feeling tired this week. I feel like those stretches of working three nights in a row are just really tough on my body. I think the hard part is like I want to come home and spend time with my daughter but I also need to sleep but I also have other things I want to do and it's really hard to sleep during the day so I just feel like those three night stretches are just really tough because I feel like all I do for three nights in a row is go to work come home go to sleep go to work come home go to sleep and I just don't really get much time to do anything else in between there and then throw on top of that a pregnancy and I'm definitely feeling it this week. As far as development goes for week 10, baby girl or boy is starting to move around a lot more this week. I can't feel any of the movement yet, but they are starting to be more active. So week 10 actually marks the beginning of a three week period where baby has a huge growth spurt. They actually will double in length over the next three weeks. There are tiny little fingernails that are starting to form on the fingers. Baby is starting to look even more human with their neck starting to form. The risk of any congenital defects are starting to decrease because many of the vital organs have already been formed at this point. As far as symptoms go this week, like I kind of said before, I definitely felt tired. I don't really feel like I've had any nausea so far and I'm so grateful for that and I feel like I'm getting really close to kind of being outside of that first trimester and hopefully I will kind of skip over any nausea vomiting type symptoms and won't have them. I didn't have any with my daughter so I'm hopeful that maybe that's just not something that I will suffer with in pregnancy. There wasn't really a whole lot that went on this week. I feel like it was a pretty chill week. We are getting ready for our upcoming OB appointment. It is in three days now, so we are finally in a like final countdown, getting excited. It's in the morning on Wednesday, and today is Sunday, so we are just really excited to go, and I think they're gonna do my blood work, and we're gonna get an ultrasound to confirm and everything, and then I may have to get a pap smear. They told me on the phone if I was due for one that they would do it at this first appointment, so I feel like I might be, so that's kind of a bummer, but that may happen at this appointment, and we'll just kind of talk about what this is, like, what it's going to look like being pregnant during a pandemic and what that means for future appointments. I know when I spoke to the nurse on the phone a couple weeks ago, she had said that most of the appointments will be virtual and there will be a couple that are in person but majority will be virtual appointments so i'm looking forward to just getting more information from the doctor and just kind of getting to see the baby and hopefully by friday or monday we'll know if it's a boy or a girl so i'm going to be doing the genetic testing through the blood and that will tell me early on if we're having a boy or a girl. So we're really excited about that. But that's like really all, like I said, not much happened this week and that's what we really have to look forward to this upcoming week for week 11. So I am looking forward to updating you guys on the next Sunday with like my 11 week update because I'll have a lot more to talk about at that with with that so so I feel like this is gonna be a really quick video but I don't really have a whole lot else to update on I am a little tired too we just got done we went down or over to Grand Rapids this weekend in Michigan with a couple of our friends and we had just kind of a fun night having dinner and stayed in a hotel out there so that was a lot of fun but we just got back today and I've got some laundry to do and some things to do around the house so and I'm feeling kind of tired because we were up late last night so <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this update just because like I said there's not a whole lot to update on I'm gonna give you a quick 
peek at what my bump looks like. Here is my end of week 10, day one of week 11 baby bump. Maybe there's like a little something starting. I feel like we're still kind of, maybe like a little bit down here, but not much still. Like I said, with my daughter, I didn't start showing until almost like 20 weeks. So we'll see when I kind of pop a bump with this one, but that's my update. So that is how my bump is progressing and if you guys liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you missed any of the previous week's video, I will have them linked in the description box below so you can check them out there. I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye.